Hey, what's up? This is Mike Locke with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. Um, I'm going to walk you through today how to how to design a banner ad and and give you some of the best um, the best practices uh, when designing banner ads. Um, let's go over here to Fireworks and and there are three basic sizes when you're when you're doing banner ads. There is a, a, a skyscraper, which is the 100 by 600 pixel and then you're gonna have the 300 by 250 in advertising work this is the mid rectangle this is a common one and also you gonna have the the leaderboard which is the 728 by 90 right this is the one you normally see at the top of, of web pages but today let's go ahead and, and, and work with we're gonna work with the skyscraper and the long um, the long banner ad and I do a lot of work with city search. They're one of my clients and I, I Design a lot of banner ads for them. I also work for Fox audience network So um, banner ads is a lot of things. It's something that I do often and uh, it's um, It's a good thing to learn and to, to understand because if you're a designer or you're a small business owner um, You're gonna want to do some banner advertising um, online and uh, these are some some things that you want to keep in mind when when uh, working or designing or working with someone to design your ads or or designing your ads yourself so what I'm gonna do is uh, let's take edible arrangements this is a company that um, delivers fruit baskets it's a nice shop um, I actually received one of these baskets before they're great but so what we're gonna do let's pretend this is our client and they want uh, we're, we're designing a banner ad for these guys and uh, for edible arrangements and uh, we're gonna um, advertise on a, a different site but uh, we're, we're our task is to build a banner ad for these guys so um, let's go ahead and use this picture this picture here of this one with the football it's a nice shot so what I'll do is just go ahead and copy come over to my fireworks canvas just paste it in there let me zoom in a little. Okay, that's 100%. So I'm just going to go ahead and scale my image down a little bit. So the main thing you do, you always want to have a nice, compelling photo in your banner ad. That's the first thing. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and kind of center that a little bit. And then I'm going to do some design work. I'm going to make this top portion green. And there are some details that I'm going to do which doesn't really matter um, in your case or in, in the case of the banner ad best practices, but um, I'm going to point out the things that really matter. Like for one, you want to have a compelling photograph that, that actually uh, draws attention. So in this case, our compelling photograph would be the fruit basket. So, um, and then you want to do, you know, you want to do a headline. Let's go back over here and see if we can capture a nice headline. Let's just choose delicious fruit baskets. Okay. So I was playing around with some font choices uh, pr previously, and and we're gonna go with this font um, called Res uh, Rosewood Feel. Rosewood Feel, and uh, let's see, get a slight little shadow with the brown, with the brown touch sort of um, connecting with the football here so so there you have it that's our our, our, our oh this is another point you want to have a nice strong header so and this is something you would do if you were building out your banner ads you would continually to test your 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 headers and your 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 um, your photos to to get the ber the best conversions or best click through rates so Let's go ahead and uh, so below our 
I'm going to make this portion here, our lower portion, I'm just going to sort of blend in the gray top part here, or this this gray background. Let's give it a gradient. So that it goes from, if you see that, it goes from now gray to white, so it now looks really smooth. You see how I did that? So it's just, you got the, I blended in the green here at, up top, and then at the bottom I blended in the gray to white. Let's go back over here to our site. I'm just going to copy their logo. And let's paste it. Oops. Copy. Paste. Paste it there. And I'm going to go over here in Fireworks, and I'm just going to choose Multiply, which knocks out the white background. And um, let's move that down here. And basically, the next, the last thing you want to do is you want to have a nice Call to Action button. And um, this is one of the three things you want to have. You want to have a nice header, a nice strong header. Um, you want to have a nice photo, compelling photo, um, and then you want to have a nice you want to have a call to action button. So in this case this one can say let's do this, let's do shop Or let's do order. Order today. Give a little drop shadow. Gives it like a brown. So that's pretty much it. Let's do this. Let's do. Uh, let's look at that again. Let's do a preview. Let's preview in our browser. Okay, you see there's no border to it, so let's do this. Let's go back here and we're going to add a border to our overall design. Let's do 160 by 600. We don't want a background, we just want a border. And uh, let's do a preview. And that's not good. I like, let's do a stronger border. do it brown for now. So there you have it. There's our banner at. We have a nice strong header, uh, compelling image, and a call to action button. And um, that's basically uh, the, the basic principles um, of, a, of, a, of a banner at. Um, if you have a nice offer, like say 15% off or free shipping, you would also include that on the banner. But the main thing is to keep your banner simple. Make sure that your banner um, also does some good, good, um, something good for the brand that you don't really diminish the brand. So when your banner, when you're, you're out there advertising for your client or whatnot, you want to make sure that when someone sees the banner ad, that um, it adds some value to the brand that you're representing. So that's pretty much it. You know, I hope this was helpful. Take a look um, and I go through this video again if you need any um, questions. Or if you have any questions, shoot me an email, and um, I'll be happy to answer. All right. Um, that's it for now. Check out for more videos. Subscribe, rate, comment, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.